Hello and welcome back to Project Zomboid Season 3, Episode 15. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do. Primarily, we need to actually head back to the base. And I actually want to take these. I've actually been given a relatively smart idea. And this was quite a while. Though I'm probably going to have to say that I been slightly hindered because the past couple of days I've been actually rather sick and it's caused me to be really sensitive to light and stuff like that so I have actually sunglasses on right now not exactly the best uh, thing to be doing but I kinda need it at this time I'm going to need a few sheets or ripped sheets and easily tearing these up is probably one of the best ways to do it. I do have this game save uh, backed up just in case I mess up critically. I shouldn't be doing that, but if it happens, I can resolve it. Uh, I want to take a quick look around. I have a couple areas I want to go to. First is I know that there is a base or a partial farm. In fact, actually, I'm gonna take out one of my earplugs because I actually I can still see pretty fine, so that's not an issue. I don't have like major sunglasses or anything like that. I just have something that dims the light so I can actually see a little bit proper. Yeah, unfortunately, I've been sick for the past couple of days, and it's been really agitating my insomnia, which has been causing a lot of problems for me not being able to rest, and the light sensitivity is distressing. <laughs> uh, other than that, yep. I was wondering if there was going to be any zombies nearby, and apparently there were going to be. Also, I found out that... Uh, What is it? A couple things. I'm just gonna remove you. It's okay. Because I was not sure if there was gonna be zombies down in this direction as well. It just seemed uh, so out of the area. Oh, don't break the house. No. Don't break it. I don't want you to break that. Yes, I'm going to murder you. And there we go. I hear you're in there. There you are. And so I'm going to just brutally murder you. Come on. One shot. Fun. Uh, the axe won't get a new upgrade for another few hundreds uh, kills, actually. It's one of the more depressing weapons. And that doesn't really get its upgrades that quickly. Okay. Now this area specifically is a really good kind of stop off area, but I don't think I will be living in this that small little house. I did want to clear out this area because I do feel like I'm probably going to be running into space issues, and this area is one of the few areas that I can expand into relatively easily by just creating a smaller path. It's also Got some tools. Oh, you know what? I. Yeah. Oh, the power source is nearby. Okay. Interesting. So, water is still available. I 
I think I hear a zombie. I want to see if I can find a saw quickly. If not, we're going to go to get tools. And it seems like we're just going to have to go get tools. Hmm. Actually, there's still some areas down here that may still have tools. I think there's a, a cabinet in here. Apparently, a few cabinets. Uh, saws, I don't see, though. Oh, wait. I see something I wanted. Ooh, yeah. Spray paints. One of the few items I've been really kind of neglecting because I know I need them. I don't need it. It's just it's one of those things that really helps. And so we now have spray paint. In this area, it's not that bad, so I can actually probably return to here. But back at the farm, we're now a little bit safer because this area probably would have eventually become an issue. I think... I may have... No, I'm in right here, okay. I wasn't keeping track of the, uh, the areas I was in. Probably good to start doing that new idea now. Now, the main idea is to start dropping these little marker sheets where I need to take turns or where I need to like notify pathways. They're really easy, quick to drop. I don't have to worry about uh, forgetting certain areas. Now I can actually probably find my way through most of the region. And it's not like I really need it there, but I'll be doing that just in case I need to like cut into sections. Now the next area we need to kind of take a look at is one. I actually want to take a look down just a bit south. Actually, I should go up to this barn first. I don't remember if I've actually gone to this barn and checked it for undead. I'm pretty sure I kind of have, but I can't remember. I'm gonna say I probably did. There we go. And, and I can also forage, which is something I'm probably gonna do at some point as well. Uh, I'm starting to get keys down for like health and everything. It's probably something I needed to do at some point. Not sure if I'm bumping into pieces of paper or what. Uh, a couple things is, I actually found out, I looked at the map, and I saw that this area was a relatively good one for, wait, don't I have more paper? Oh, that's a lot of rags. I mean, the rags are probably better for, like, medical reasonings, but right now I don't need them for medical reasonings. <laughs> I don't need bandages probably a good thing. I do, however, need pathway markings. And I just do this so I know where, like, I have bases. Yeah, not being able to hear of uh, my ears properly is distressing to say the least. Okay, uh, I do know that I do want to have one this way, so I know that I have to go down that pathway. But, going up here also has a secondary use. <laughs> I'll need to definitely put a couple down there. There we go. Now this area is not usually that swarmed, but it's also next to the warehouse. 
which is another building of interest. Now, luckily the building of interest here that we're looking for is nothing to do with either of those. It's actually just up here. Yeah, you remember that pathway we keep going through to get to our base? Well, apparently, that southern path that I saw actually is the path to the farm. So, in fact, actually, I want to drop a quick mark here, too. I don't need to worry too much. This area is pretty safe as it's pretty far out of town. Probably the worst I have to worry about is a few zombies that are going to be in the in-between areas here. But the occasional zombie is not really too much of a threat. I do have to be kind of more focused. Which is kind of sucky, but that's not bad. It could be a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, now that I found the spray paint, that's going to make my life a lot easier. Oh, hi. And just a little bit of murder. Just a little bit of murder to spice up the morning. No. I do want to put this here. A little marker showing that I need to go this way. I don't need to be running just yet, but I can run on my way back. Just because I don't think I'll be needing to care. I might as well kill a few people on my way there. a lot more chops than I was expecting. Ooh, you got a few people there. Uh, let's see. Comb. Not too handy. We need to go north. Easy enough. The uh, main reason I don't want to be dealing with any zombies right now is because I don't really have the resources to constantly be fending them off, but I do have the resources to take out one or two as I pass by. Like the occasional ones that are in my pathway will be brutally slaughtered. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta go too. Okay. Book. Walkie talkie. Did I ever check what was inside here? Screwdriver? Eh. We don't really need the screwdriver. Even though I do know now that the screwdriver is a pretty good murdering weapon. Uh, the machete I actually ended up learning is a really junky... Uh, what is it? Single weapon? But it's actually a good long using knife basically. So I'll probably be investing in that at some point. Uh, yeah, now that we're back at the base, I don't have to worry about most of this stuff. I can start loading up a vehicle and maybe starting to drive it down. I don't think I'll be driving it as much as I was expecting because there's no real good path until I clear quite a bit of uh, brush. So yeah, we're going to be stuck here for a bit. Not here, but we're going to be stuck in this intermediate position. <laughs> uh, the building seems to be holding up still pretty well. I'm taking a quick perimeter sweep just to make sure there's no broken windows and stuff. And kill any undead that I see that are just in the localized vicinity. Three don't remember if I left that at 3, but I probably did. I wasn't too concerned with a lot of things. So in we shall go. And hopefully we don't get murdered by random creatures.
I am going to have to be slightly more careful. As I do believe... Actually, I don't believe zombies can spawn inside buildings after that initial spawn. Probably good for us. But I also didn't check up here, so... I actually don't know if the windows are still... Okay, they seem to be good. Uh, we do want to check up for a few things. Primarily, we want to check for spray paint, chalk, and other marking utensils. Mainly because that's what we're going to be doing for a while. So we need to mark quite a few things. Uh, so I did I put these nails up here? Yeah, I did. Well, there's a saw. I could take that. Take that. I actually wanted to check for the spray paint. Uh, spray paint's just really good because it, I think it can be marked on, uh, put on multiple different surfaces. I'm pretty sure the, uh, what is it? The chalk can only be used on actual, like, concrete surfaces. Spray paint. Nope. Crowbar. Nails. Uh, let's see. Nails. Fishing tackle box. Oh, it looks like it actually has some fishing tackle in it, too. That might be useful. Uh, car batteries. I'm not sure if I have a use for that yet. I know the the gray bricks I probably have quite a few uses for, but I just don't feel like investing time into that right now. So I'm not going to. An empty blue barrel. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is actually relatively useful for storing liquids. Maybe. I actually want to check that first. Uh, can I store any liquids in here? Nope. But I can store equipment in it. It's actually pretty good at holding stuff, so... Duct tape. Oh, looks like my bag's full. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. I'm pretty sure I have some food here. Like, actually on me. Nope. Apparently not. Just eat all that. Uh, another silencer. I'll be taking that. Box of bolts. Nails. I'll take the nails. Road flare. I actually use those, even though it's not very efficient to be doing so. I do tend to use those. Another silencer. Apparently we can have a lot of silencers now. That's good. I didn't really check this area, which is probably something... It's kind of a blunder on my part, but... I also wasn't focusing on a lot of this stuff either, as it wasn't my main objective. I do need to store some stuff. I probably should have done that when I was actually thinking about it, but it's a little too late now. Uh, we do have some guns that we actually don't need. I'm probably going to drop them off here. As we'll be returning here for quite a few times just because there's so much equipment here that it would be a shame to just leave it. I'm trying not to run too much in this vicinity yet as I am not ready to leave and I'm kind of overweight. That's not helpful. It's a good thing there's no one that can be in here yet. Uh, I do like that I have this thing, because I can actually store my junk. Uh, the Ruinous Spiked Baseball Bat is actually considered a legendary, oh, pretty good quality. I'm pretty sure that's double damage or triple damage or something like that. So, essentially, it's a very powerful weapon, and yeah, it's good to know. Uh, here, I actually have quite a few... 
shells, uh, stuff like that. that. That wasn't good for my heart. <laughs> as I'm already kind of on edge as is. Uh, dog tags, I actually realized something. You can rename these. Fun. I didn't know that prior to this, or I was doing a test play for a bit. Toss that in there. I don't really need it, so no point in keeping multiples of them. Uh, the shotgun's really the only thing I need. Uh, tweezers can actually go in here, as I don't really need it on hand. I'm probably going to put these in here. And the lighter as well. Uh, don't really need a lot of everything here. I do have quite a few things of canned goods. I mean, it's good to keep the canned goods, but I don't really need it on hand and they're kind of weighing me down. I do need nails and stuff like that, but... Uh, oh, also, people may be wondering why I have the Molotov recipe like, the easier Molotovs, and it's strictly for the fact that I use Molotovs to burn corpses. It's just a really cheap and efficient way to burn corpses from a distance, and not to deal with the repercussions afterwards. I also might want to start investing in taking garbage bags, because I'm starting to remember, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna need those. <laughs> uh, I do have a toolkit here, don't I? Yeah, I'm gonna drop this. I, I don't really need it. There's no point in keeping it right now, so why bother? Of the things, I do need a saw hammer. I do need an axe. I already have the axe. I do need pliers. I need a sledgehammer. I need a shovel, too. Box of nails. Uh, the blowtorch I might want to invest in, but right now it's not too much of a critical thing. Nails. I need those cardboard boxes too, but again, they're not too critical. I'll take them anyway, just because they are really just useful. I mean, of everything, the cardboard box you wouldn't think would be very useful, but it actually is good for sorting things. Road flare, again, I use those. Not often, but occasionally. Oh, uh, these are water storages. They're really, really, really essential water storages, so I need to take those. Do I have a box of nails worth? Nope. Need ten more. We've got another road flare. Can't actually store that. Uh, road flares are just really good for lighting up an area at night when you don't really have the option to do so in most cases. Yes, I know you're getting bored, blah blah blah. Can't take that. I don't need the empty bottle right now. But I do need that, and I do want that, but I can't have it. Again, I just have a lot of stuff I don't need on hand. This jar of stuff. Uh, so annoying. I really need a lot of stuff. I need a lot of it, and I can't have it. Wow, it's actually so heavy that I can't carry it. Okay, I'm trying to remember everything that I need, and there's a, a pretty hefty list of things that are needed. One of them is these nails. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can box this now. Place nails in a box. Oh, 
Fox O'Nails. I can't even store him. Uh, really, I don't really need too much more. I don't really need these red flares. I mean, they're good for a few things, but I don't need them. They're not essential. Nothing critical. I do just have a lot of stuff, though. Uh, okay, I'll take them. Just so I can store stuff. Okay. Okay, store you. Yay. I can at least minimize some of my stuff. And I'm going to be jumping off most of this stuff before I leave next up. Uh, leave for the next episode. The only things I'm going to be taking, I'm actually going to leave the sledgehammer, and I do need a shovel, but I haven't found one yet, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. I haven't really needed to do too much else, so I'm not going to concern myself with a lot of it. So, see you guys in the next episode. If you enjoyed watching, like, subscribe for more. Have a nice day. See ya. Thank you for watching. For more content, check out my channel. If you wish to support my channel, check out my Patreon. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates.